Street Fighter is pretty much the first competitive fighting game that people didn't even know about. Back in the days, you know, when you're going to an arcade, you see Pac-Man, Galaga, old school games, games that people normally don't play next to each other. Street Fighter 2, it brought people together and you start seeing crowds together. Why were they so addicted to play each other? Because they didn't have to play computer no more. It's not just about the game anymore, it's about the people. You win. Heroes and Rivals. Any good game, well, for that matter, any good story is full of them. Hero heads out for adventure. Hero hits a bunch of challenges along the way. Hero has to push his limits if he hopes to overcome them. Well, this is a story of a game called Street Fighter. And this is our hero. Growing up in Compton, there was always a lot of um, things going on. It was, it's so easy to, you know, get caught up in some of the things that happen around that neighborhood. Even when you're, you know, not that kind of person, it's just the people you hang around can become very influential. I wasn't really a part of it too much because, because I was more interested in video games. I feel like video games are more vast. Um, I was always extremely competitive. There's so many, um, you know, competitive uh, games to play. In 1992, kids from around the world were stacking up tokens. Here in Los Angeles, 25 cents would buy you a chance to try to knock off your arcade's reigning champ. You win, you stay. Easy enough. A joystick, three punch buttons, and three kick buttons on each of the 500,000 cabinets that popped up in arcades worldwide. By the end of 1993, Street Fighter II had racked up 1.5 billion in revenue one token at a time. Everybody seemed to want to play either Ken or Ryu. Yeah, we get it. Ryu was the default character in the first edition of the game, but the dude is a straight up karate master and looks like a badass with his ripped off sleeves and iconic red headband. If you hated Ryu, <laughs> you played Sagat. Check out the purple Muay Thai shorts, the patch over the eye. You see that scar on Sagat's chest? Ryu did that in the original Street Fighter. Needless to say, Sagat fights like a mad tiger. So why in the world would a kid choose to play this guy? Round one, fight. Seven feet tall, 400 pounds, a bear wrestler from Siberia fighting for the glory of Mother Russia? I wasn't too sure if I was starting off with the right character because in Street Fighter 2, I played Ryu, Ken, and Zangief, so I had like a nice variety right there. I just find Zangief as a funny character, you know. I love that guy. And there's this move that Zangief has called an SPD, Spinning Pile Driver. The way Zangief learned how to do that move was in the comics. He was just doing a regular pile driver on a bear, which I find hilarious. And a tornado came out of nowhere and like picked him up and it spinned him as he was doing the pile driver. And that's basically how he learned how to do the spinning pile. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's pretty funny. Take one. Take two. Take three. I have known Daryl for about 18 years now, so it's been been a long time. We used to go out um, to local arcades to play Street Fighter 2. 
I kind of told him once, like, hey, you're good, you know? I'm like still a little bit of shock, to be honest, but you should maybe try going to tournaments, get your name out there. I was like, nah, I don't, you know, I don't think I'm that good. Maybe I won't, you know, do so well. But yeah, I just, I always felt like, you know, um, I should be in the competitive world. And so one of my first tournaments was the biggest tournament in the world, which was Evo. So I went to the tournament. One. <laughs> This has been great stuff, really great. That's when it all started. But a win in 2010? That's ancient history now. In the time since that breakout win, things have changed. The whole gaming landscape has changed. We're not playing Street Fighter 2 at the local arcade anymore. Esports are big, and the annual EVO Championship Series attracts eyeballs. Over 22 million sets of them last year. And with a worldwide online audience tuning in, we find ourselves here. Everyone knows that the biggest fights in the world gravitate to Nevada. Vegas is where they fight for the major titles in MMA. Vegas is the location for the biggest bouts in boxing. And the EVO Championship Series in Vegas is going to tell us whether Snake Eyes can take Zangief to the top again.